what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally we have a brand new update of the game hub windows emulator for android devices which is specifically created to fix graphical issues as well as improve performance on snapdragon processor android devices so game hub emulator has launched a brand new graphics driver which fixes graphical issues in games like god of war marvel spider-man remaster miles morales witcher 4 and lot more so all of the high-end direct textual games like even cyberpunk which used to have lot of issues inside the game hub emulator can now easily be fixed. Now the version of Game Hub Emulator that I am using is the default latest version which is the 5.1.0. So this brand new update is not a new version of Game Hub but it is actually the internal stuff that has been created. We have unofficial drivers. So here I have selected God of War 2018 PC game. I will go to the PC game settings and let's wait for a few seconds. Now this graphics driver will work on unsupported Snapdragon processor Android devices, 8 Gen 3, I guess 8 Gen 2 as well as Snapdragon 8 Elite and even some other unsupported Snapdragon processors like 8 Elite Gen 5 in future. In screen resolution, we'll be going with the default 1280 by 720p screen resolution. Anyways, in terms of game resolution, as usual, set it to the lowest possible. Now we can go to the compatibility section and here in terms of GPU driver, you guys can see a brand new graphics driver which fixes performance as well as graphical issues is here. So it is actually known as 8E Gen 5 842.6. So it is created for processors which have an Adreno 8 series GPU, I guess. I haven't tested it out on any 8 series other processors. It is taken from the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 Android devices which will be releasing next year or towards the December of this year. In terms of DXVK, we'll go with the DXVK 2.4.1 Asynchronous and VKD3D will keep it as default 2.12. In CPU Translator, make sure to choose the latest FEX CPU Translator which is of the September 10th. Once that's done, simply enable the on-screen touch controls option and yeah, keep everything else as default. Now go back and launch the game that you want to play. So the device that I'll be using in today's video is my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and will be running the God of War 2018 PC game on a mobile device. So here I'll enable full screen. In the game of emulator 5.1.0, the performance has dropped drastically. If you guys remember, you used to only get like 5 to 10 FPS while emulating games like God of War 2018. But with this graphics driver, everything else will be different. So here we go. Our game is about to launch Sony Interactive Entertainment Presence. And here we go guys, our God of War 2018 has successfully started. You guys can see the FPS towards the top 43 FPS. Oh my god, with no graphical issues at all. This is the power of the brand new Snapdragon graphics driver of the Game Hub Windows emulator. Now, if we just go ahead and go to the graphics settings, so here I'll just go ahead and press graphics. You guys can see I have set the preset as low. So with low preset you will get even better performance and you can go to display. Turn off motion blur for best performance and even film grain. Once that has been done, AMD FSR is set to ultra performance. So we are now literally running at the best possible graphics as well as performance preset for playing AAA titles like God of War 2018 on our Android devices with literally no graphical issues at all. This is super amazing. We didn't expect this would ever happen. And the device which I am using is S25 Ultra with a 12 GB RAM variant. So the experience which you are seeing right now is literally console level experience in consoles you get 30 fps but here we are getting more than 30 fps constant 40 to 47 fps so this is truly the smoothest gameplay experience that i have ever experienced playing this triple a game it should be very very difficult to run this game on our mobile devices if you saw my Game Hub Emulator 5.1.0 update video that I was getting so low FPS, 5 to 10 FPS in this game. But there are some stuttering issues here and there. Don't mind them at all because it is due to shader compilation and small stuff like that. So yeah guys, in the future I can upload a dedicated gameplay video test showing you guys the full open world gameplay experience of running God of War 2018 on a mobile device. With so stable FPS, almost 27 FPS now, the performance has dropped a little bit because now we are in much more demanding scenarios. Still it is very stable and I can also notice some heating issues in my Android device. It is best recommended that you actually use a cooling fan for your Android devices if you are trying to emulate such heavy titles for a long period of time. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification and let me know in the comment section down below if I should test out Spider-Man, Witcher, Cyberpunk and many other PC games. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Just before I end this video, you guys can see for yourself. Uh, we are in the river and still no graphical issues at all. Very smooth gameplay experience, really impressed by the Game Hub emulator.